What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is Earthmaster checking in here on this eight, straight up 8 p.m. West Coast time here on January 30th, 2021 is the date. Uh, latest quake out here on the globe shows a 2.5 up here around Stanley, Idaho, way up there. Also, some other earthquake activity to report in the West Coast region, not here on this 2.5 and above map from the USGS, but on the all magnitudes. You can see some uh, earthquake activity popping off there off the coast of Oregon and Northern California there in the Gorda Escarpment Ridges section. Just a couple of small little quakes out there, 2.9 and a 2.8, but still nonetheless some earthquake activity in that uh, very sensitive region. Also a little earthquake up here around the uh, Hamilton City area, kind of uh, just a small little 2.0, about 13 kilometers below the surface. And... Um, some more movement down to the south no new swarms to report uh, but we're definitely seeing some activity along the san jacinto fault area and also right here at this break section between the imperial fault and the brawley seismic uh, extension there which is uh basically another extension of the uh, san andreas fault there the plate boundary just a couple of small small micro quakes within that region uh, no major quakes to report in southern california as of yet and activity up through the Ridgecrest and the Nevada region looks to be about average for the moment. There's that 2.5 up there in the Idaho region. Just two earthquakes over the last 24 hours. Uh, relatively minor movement. Uh, this is pretty much below background activity from what we've seen over the past couple months here. So it uh, looks like activity is uh, kind of ramping up here potentially. Uh, following this 2.5 that struck there once again by Stanley, Idaho at 10 kilometers below the surface. Uh, rest of the country pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on out there in the fracking states. And uh, just a couple small quakes down here. Right around Pecos, Texas, this area sees uh, quite a bit of uh, earthquake activity out there. A little cluster there. Looks like 3.5 being the largest. We'll go ahead and check that out real quick on the satellite view. Uh, I'm trying to think if I fly over this area when I go out to uh, Texas. Sometimes we take the southern route. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of, uh, oh, a lot of well, a lot of natural gas wells and all sorts of oil stuff going on out there. Uh, where this, where these earthquakes are taking place, it's not, uh, not looking likely that I see any type of fracking or any type of oil pumping operations out there in that uh, part of the state. There's really nothing around there. These are happening about uh, five kilometers below the surface. I believe it's um, purely plate tectonics here, I believe. Kind of scattered out too by uh, a few hundred feet or so. Who knows, maybe they're digging a tunnel underneath there, right? You can kind of follow that tunnel that goes through the ground. Some uh, interesting features up here to the north. Now these kind of look like they could be uh, uh, definitely uh, some pumping operations there. About a mile, uh, about a mile or so uh, within that vicinity. So can't roll out uh, the aspect of that uh, causing those quakes down there, but I don't know. I'll have to keep an eye on that region there. Going back to the uh, grayscale, not the grayscale, not the ocean. There we go. Terrain. Terrain, terrain. Other than that, not a whole lot of movement out here along the eastern coast region. Uh, none to report. A little small 2.1 up here uh, in the uh, outside of the border region up there around the uh, uh, Canada region. 2.1, 18 kilometers down below the surface there. And uh, not a whole lot of movement up there in Idaho. And we haven't really seen a huge uptick in earthquake activity out here yet in the Pacific Ring of Fire. Just kind of some sporadic activity through the Indonesia Islands area. Kind of broken up um, plate tectonics there. Always seems to be active. But nothing major at the moment to report in that region. A couple of earthquakes up here to the north part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. But uh, 5.3 being the largest in that uh, little cluster of quakes up there. Hawaii, not a whole lot to report there either, folks. Um, looking pretty mellow for the most part. A little die down in activity following the the, the uh, ramp up of um, 
movement there on the southeast part of the island. Kind of quiet looking today. What is not quiet? Check out this trimmer map once again, folks. This is a pretty big deal. This is today's event, 715 epicenters of trimmer underneath Vancouver Island. And also some more trimmer being reported in the Northern California region there at the southern part of the Cascadia subduction zone. So you can combine these 715 today uh, and the 700 and something that we've seen yesterday, seven, or 663 that we've seen. Uh, that's a lot of movement up there in the northern part of the Cascadia subduction zone. So we have been, we definitely have been seeing uh, a quite a bit of activity stretching down from Northern California, which is the southern end of that uh, Juan de Fuca plate, the subducting area, uh, the trimmer area, if you will, slow slip area, all the way up through uh, into Washington. So if you got one portion of the, uh, the plate here kind of doing the... Uh, slow slip event dance there uh, and while well, the other part of the uh, plate here underneath is not really doing anything uh, you know you're looking at it quite a bit of pressure but looks like we're maybe trying to catch up if you will in this region where we're seeing this massive amount of slow slip event uh, trimmer that's what I believe is happening there we haven't seen a little we haven't seen uh, too much uptick in earthquake activity uh, in the Washington region far as uh, surface quaking going. We'll check out the volcanoes here in a little bit, but uh, I'm not noticing any type of surface uh, quakes going on due to the uh, uh, large amount of tremor that's happening there in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. So we'll have to watch it and see if that uh, changes anytime soon there. Uh, but yeah, quite a bit, folks. Seven, uh, I mean, we're looking at. 15, 1600 trimmers uh, just over the last uh, 48 hours or so. And it does happen. I've seen a couple comments talking about uh, is this unusual. Um, really can't say that it's unusual. It does happen. And, uh, you know, looking back here on the uh, 28th a couple days ago, you can see that large cluster there in Oregon. We could load up load up this map over the past couple weeks here, and you'll see the massive amount of trimmer that does take place out here. So, it's uh, you know it, it's common to see uh, huge events events like that, uh, but it's you know it's still playing with the monster, so to speak. You know any type of trimmer movement out there, I firmly believe, um, could one day trigger the uh, the massive 9.0 earthquake uh, along the Cascadia subduction zone. It just it kind of makes sense, right? If you're looking at uh, some trimmer, which is motion, a slow. These are kind of like really slow earthquakes. I'm just, I don't want to go into a huge detail about it again because I put out quite a few videos on the Cascadia and what the slow slip trimmer is. You can check it out on the channel. But when you got some movement going on down there in the slow slip area, that's ultimately adding a back strain onto the already locked area. Of the Cascadia subduction zone, it has to. It just doesn't, uh, you know, disappear. So, uh, you know, I think the more trimmer that we have, uh, the higher the possibility is of actually seeing a mega quake out here on the Cascadia. Whether it's a full rupture or just a partial rupture, um, you know, remains to be seen. So, anyway, it's a pretty crazy night out here, folks, where I live. Uh, a lot of people playing some music and did some gunshots a little bit ago, and it's just, man. I'm just glad to be home. That's why I never venture venture out anymore. It's it's just not safe. Let me tell you. Uh, what do we got? Uh, let's check out. Um, let's check out Mount Hood real quick. Check out any um, seismic activity. Let's see if there is any new seismic activity there at the uh, at that specific volcano. I don't believe there is. Uh, of course, they got this amped up so you can pick out you know any type of movement. It's hard to tell though. Um, when they do that to the seismograph instruments there um let me back that off there yesterday it looks like there was a small one there you can kind of see the earthquakes they kind of bounce out they really do they bounce out and um 
uh, very visible there on the seismograph. So even a couple, well, it's hard to tell with these other ones. Those might be some small microquakes, but uh, it's definitely amped up so you can pick up anything. They're trying to pick up anything, maybe, maybe kind of turning up the volume there on the seismograph so they can uh, decipher any new movement uh, there at the uh, volcano. But it looks pretty good now. Not a whole lot going on there at Mount Hood. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, pretty quiet. No new swarming there. It's been a while since we've seen a mega swarm, right? You know, months on end of uh, just earthquake activity, kind of making folks a little on the nervous side. We haven't seen that in a while. Sometimes we get a couple small microquakes that rumble for an hour or two, and then they completely disappear. But, uh, you know, there's like probably two or 300 microquakes that take place within that short time. But no major long-term um, swarms going on at the moment. And in fact, you know, really nothing to report. And it looks like maybe a couple. Yeah, it's hard to tell what those are. Those look like some type of interference there. Uh, but really nothing, nothing to report there at Yellowstone National Park. Anyway, folks, um, have a great Friday night. We're going to jump off here and uh, kind of just dodge some bullets, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully no, nothing comes flying through the windows here. That would not be good. Ah, stay safe, everyone. Looks like Chile had a little earthquake out there on the seismograph station there. Not a big one, just probably uh, it's hard to tell uh, when it's off the chart there. But uh, we'll keep an eye on things. If we need to update, uh, uh, what is that? The Hayu Mountain, where's that station at? I can't remember exactly where that's at. There's a little small earthquake popping up there on that specific station but uh i can't remember where that one was at sometimes i pick out these stations here and they uh um they have these weird names and i forget where they're at anyway have a good night everyone we will chat you guys tomorrow sometime peace out